Hello mga ka-wisdom! Welcome to Wisdom is Power Channel. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, i-like, mag-comment, at i-share ang video ito. Click mo na rin ang notification bell to receive more wisdom videos na katulad nito. Salamat! Ngayon, pag usapan natin about single phase short transmission lines. Let's have a review first of the three main types of overhead transmission lines. First is the short transmission line. The line length is up to 80 kilometers and the line voltage is comparatively low, less than 20 kilovolts. The capacitance is negligible or neglected. Second is the medium transmission line. The line length is between 81 kilometer to 150 kilometer and the line voltage is between 20 kilovolts to 100 kilovolts. The third is the long transmission line. The line length is more than 150 kilometers and the line voltage is high greater than 100 kilovolts. So as stated earlier, the effects of line capacitance are neglected for a short transmission line. So therefore, while studying the performance of such a line, only resistance and inductance of the line are taken into account. So makikita natin na since ang capacitance ay negligible or neglected para sa short transmission line, marireduce na lang yung circuit natin, ang matitira na lang ay resistance and inductance. Where, katulad dito sa ating circuit, the V sub S is the sending end voltage, I is the loop current, R is the loop resistance, X sub L is the loop reactance, and V sub R is the receiving end voltage. And if we're going to analyze our circuit, simply series circuit lang to, ng R saka X sub L or the inductive reactance. So if we're going to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law, the sending end voltage is equal to the voltage drop na may induce dito sa resistance and inductive reactance plus the receiving end voltage. Or simply, the sending end voltage is equal to I multiplied by the impedance plus the receiving end voltage. If we're going to express yung impedance sa uh, complex form, that will be I multiply by R plus JX sub L plus the receiving end voltage. Yung I natin dito, or current, is expressed sa complex form din, the rectangular, or pwede rin natin siyang express sa polar form. So kung saan tayo mas uh, convenient gamitin. Pwede sa rectangular form or polar form. So therefore, V sub S, kung i-insert natin yung yung current natin in rectangular form or sa complex form, that will be I cosine phi sub R minus J sine phi sub R multiplied by R plus J X sub L plus the receiving end voltage. Or, kung express naman natin sa polar form, that will be the sending end voltage is equals the the magnitude of the sending end voltage, angle alpha degrees, where the alpha is the angle between the vector of the sending end voltage and the vector of the receiving end voltage. So here is the equivalent phasor diagram. So isa siyang malaking right triangle, the triangle OCD, and using the principle of Pythagorean theorem, we have OC or the hypotenuse to be squared is equals to the square, uh, the sum of the squares of the opposite and the adjacent side. That is OD squared plus DC squared. So yung OC natin, ito yung ating sending and voltage. At yung OD natin is the sum of OE, yung line OE or the vector OE plus the vector ED to be squared plus yung atin namang opposite side which is the DC so based from the figure that is DB plus BC to be squared so 
simplifying the equation that is V sub S or the square of the sending end voltage is equals to VR cosine P sub R plus IR to be squared. Uh, yung as, kasing OE natin dito, pag kinuha natin yung trigonometric function ng cosine, that will give us yung OE, the adjacent side, para makuha natin yung OE, yung adjacent side, itong OAE triangle natin, no? that will be equals to VR cosine phi sub R plus ED. Yung ED natin, makikita natin ito, that is equals to I multiply by R. On the other hand, dito naman tayo sa opposite side, that will be DB. So this is the same with uh, triangle OAE. But this time, ang kukunin natin ngayon, yung opposite side. Huh? Opposite side, which is using trigonometric function of sine, sine that will be V sub R sine P sub R. Plus, yung BC natin, BC, is equals to I multiplied by the inductive reactance. Then, getting the square root, that will give us V sub S, then square root of VR, cosine phi plus I sub R to be squared plus VR sine theta, uh, sine phi plus I sub X sub L squared. So, let us remember that the cosine phi sub R is the receiving end power factor and the cosine phi sub S is the sending end power factor. So, again, to get the alpha, the angle alpha, that is equals to the angle between the Vs and current minus the angle between V sub R and current. So alpha, as we can see in the phasor diagram, that is the angle between vector Vs and vector V sub R. So while well, descending and power factor can be get can can be expressed as using the big triangle OCD that is OD over OC that is adjacent over opposite. Ah, I mean uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. Then OD. As we can see from our diagram, that will be OE plus ED all over OC or the hypotenuse side. So again, OE, so using the cosine function, it will give us VR cosine phi sub R plus IR, the value of ED, which is equal also to the I multiplied by R all over the hypotenuse, which is V sub S. The power delivered is simply, katulad rin dati nung ating uh, formula for power, uh, V times I times cosine. This is for single phase. While the line losses is N I squared multiplied by R, where N, ang value ng N natin ay 2 kapag single phase and 3 if 3 phase. The power sent out is also equals to V, v multiplied by R cosine phi plus I squared R or the losses. While the percentage transmission efficiency that is equals to the efficiency is equals to power delivered all over power sent out or the sent out power. Then the, the transmission efficiency is equals to the receiving voltage multiplied by the receiving current, cosine phi sub R, all over V sub R, I sub R, cosine phi sub R, plus I squared, multiplied by R. So in short, that is equal to output power all over the sum of output power plus the power losses. While in voltage regulation, that is equal to V sub R is equal to Sending end voltage minus the receiving end voltage all over the receiving voltage 
multiply by 100%. It means at a lower percentage voltage regulation is better for the performance of a transmission line as it indicates more stable voltage levels even with changing loads. So let's have a practice problem number one. A single phase line has an impedance of 5 angle 60 degrees and supplies a load of 120 ampere, 3.3 kilovolts at 0 0.8 power factor lagging. Calculate the sending end voltage. So let us write all the given first. We have the impedance, the current, the receiving end voltage, and the power factor of 0 0.8. So we are asked to solve for the sending end voltage. So based from our circuit, so the equation for sending end voltage is equal to I multiplied by the impedance plus the receiving end voltage. So the power factor is equal to, or the angle, to get the angle of the receiving end voltage is equal to uh, cosine raised to negative 1, 0 0.8, then you will get 36.87 degrees. So again, so yung I natin naka-express sa polar form. So that is 120 angle negative 36.87 degrees. Ginawa natin negative kasi lagging ang ating given. So kapag lagging, ibig sabihin na iiwan yung ating current ng ating voltage. Multiply by the impedance, also expressed in polar form, that is 5 angle 60 degrees plus 3,300 angle 0 degrees para doon sa ating receiving end voltage. So that will give us 3,858.97 volts or simply 3.86 kilo volts. So another solution, kung kanina naka-polar form tayo lahat, pwede rin natin siyang express using sa rectangular form. So the the impedance of 5 angle 60 degrees, kung i-convert natin yan sa rectangular form, that will be 2.5 plus J 4.3301. Then i-insert natin dun sa ating equation, another equation expressed in complex form or sa rectangular form, that will be 120 0.8 minus J 0.6 Multiply by 2.5 plus J4.3301 plus our receiving end voltage of uh, 3,300 angle 0 degrees. So you, we will get the same uh, result for the sending end voltage. That is 3,858.97 volts or uh, 3.86 kilo volts. So for practice problem number two, a single phase line has a total impedance of 1.5 plus J0.3 ohms. It delivers 3 megawatts at 11 kilovolts at unity power factor. Determine the sending end voltage of the transmission line. So the same problem, we are asked to solve for the sending end voltage. So let us write all the given first. That is our impedance, the power, the receiving end voltage, and the unity power factor. So again, we are asked to solve for the sending end voltage. So our solution using our equation for power, that is the V sub R, multiplied by the receiving current, multiplied by the power factor. So we need to solve for the current first. So rearranging our equation, this will give us I sub R is equals to 3 megawatts, which is our power all over 11 kilovolts multiplied by 1, which is our power factor, or the unity power factor. So this will give us 272.73 amperes for the current. Now, we're going to insert this current dun sa ating equation. So that will be 272.73 angle 0 degrees because our factor, power factor is unity. So every time na ang power factor natin ay unity, the ang, ang angle o ang degrees natin na ikakapit o iaattach sa angle is zero. 
no? Multiply by the impedance of 1.5 plus J 0.3 plus 11 kilovolts plus J sub O. So, lahat sila, I know, no? uh, pwede siyang mag-mix. Pwede siyang kasama sa lahat ay rectangular or mix of polar and rectangular form. So, lahat ng ating expression ay nasa complex form. So, that will give us 11,409.095 plus J81.82. Giving, uh, getting the magnitude of our sending end voltage, this will give us 11,409.39 or simply 11.41 kilo volts. So, if you want to have another solution, this, uh, pwede natin magamit itong ganitong second approach, no? Pwede natin gamitin yung equation natin na square root for descending and voltage. So, ipa-plug in lang natin lahat ng mga values na nating na-derive at lahat ng given do sa ating equation. Then, this will give us the same answer of 11,409.39 volts or simply 11.41 kilo volts. So, let's have practice problem number three. A single phase overhead transmission line delivers 1100 kilowatts at 33 kilovolts at 0.8 power factor lagging. The total resistance and inductive reactance of the line are 10 ohms and 15 ohms respectively. Determine the ending, the sending and voltage, sending and power factor, and the transmission efficiency. So, let us write the given. All the given, that is power, 1100 kilowatts. The receiving end voltage is 33 kilovolts. The power factor is 0 0.8. The resistance is 10 ohms. And the inductive reactance is 15 ohms. Then we are asked to solve for descending end voltage, descending end power factor, and the efficiency of the transmission line. So, using our equation for descending end voltage, that will be I multiplied by the impedance plus the receiving end voltage. So, first we have to solve for the value of current. So, that is power all over V sub R multiplied by the power factor. That is 1100 kilowatts all over 33 kilovolts multiplied by the value of the power factor, which is 0 0.8. That will give us 41.67 amperes. So, i ipapasok lang natin no, dun sa ating equation. So, to solve for descending end voltage. So, that will give us 33,709.32 volts or simply 33.71 kilovolts. So, another approach or another solution to, to find or to determine the sending and voltage. So, pwede natin express yung ating current no, sa complex form. That is 41.67 multiplied by 0 0.8 minus J, J 0 0.6. No? Yung 0 0.6, alam natin, galing yun doon sa pagkakuha natin ng angle ng power factor natin, kukunin natin yung ating sine function nung angle na nakuha natin. So, that will give us 0 0.6. So, simplifying the value of current, that is 33.34 minus J25. So, the KBL method, simply input lang natin yung ating mga values given. That is I multiply by the impedance plus the receiving end voltage. That is 33.34 minus J25 multiply by 10 plus J15 plus 33,000 plus J0. So that will give us 33,708.4 plus J250.1 volts and getting the mag magnitude, this will give us 33,709.33 angle 0.425 degrees or simply 33,709.33 volts which is the same do sa ano na nating uh, approach or solution. 
to solve for the sending and power factor, our uh, sending and power factor is equals to the receiving and power factor plus the angle of alpha. So that is 36.87 degrees plus yung nakuha natin kanina na 0.425 degrees para dun sa alpha or the angle na kasama nung ating sending and voltage which is 0.425. Kukunin lang natin yung sum then it will give us 37.295. Then the power factor of, for the sending end, that will be cosine 37.295 and it will give us 0 0.795 lagging. So for the second solution to solve for the sending end power factor, simply we will use our uh, cosine function para dun sa big triangle ng ating uh, equivalent phase or diagram. No? So that will be VR cosine V sub R plus IR all over V sub S. So isa-substitute lang natin yung mga values na nakuha natin at mga given. Then this will give us the same power factor value which is 0 0.795. And for the for solving the transmission efficiency the efficiency is equals to output power all over output power plus power losses. So since the line losses is equals to I squared multiplied by R, simply uh, we will use the value of the current na nakuha natin kanina, 41.67, uh, to be squared multiplied by the value of the resistance, which is equals to 10. So this will give us 17.36 kilowatts. Hindi na natin siya nag-multiply tayo ng 2. Hindi na tayo nag-multiply ng 2 kasi uh, based from the problem, ito na yung total resistance ng line. Kaya hindi na natin siya multiply ng 2. Okay? So, pero kung ang given ay per phase yung resistance, then kung multiply natin siya ng 2. Okay? So, substituting to the our equation to solve for the transmission efficiency, that will be 1100 kilowatts all over 1100 kilowatts plus 17.36 kilowatt multiplied by 100%. This will give us 98.45%. So that's all mga ka-wisdom. So again, kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, i-like, mag-comment, o pwede rin magtanong at i-share ang video ito. Click mo na rin ang notification bell to receive more wisdom videos na katulad nito. Salamat!